Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how to define a read-only property in JavaScript. So, right here we have a simple empty HTML document and within the script tag let's define a new object to actually work with. So, let's make a new constant called person equal to an object with some key value pairs to represent a person. For example, Let's give this person a name of Dominic. Let's give them an age of something like 45 and an occupation of software developer. Okay. If I was to just console.log of this person in the browser, if I save this and then refresh the page, we get that right there. Okay. So now let's define a new read only property on this person. Let's define one called born, so where this person was born. I'm pretty sure you can't change that. All right, you can change age, occupation, name, but you can't change where you're born. So let's define a read-only property born on this object. We can do this by using the object constructor. Okay, so we're going to type out object, okay, with a capital O, and then call the define property method on object. This takes in three arguments. The first one being the object to define this property on. In this case here, it will be person. So define a property on person. The second argument will be the actual key or the property to, um, to assign. In this case here, we're going to define a property called born. Okay. And the third one is basically just an object of attributes to describe this new property. Let's put an object inside here, and then within this object here, we're going to define some, I guess, uh, what do you call these, like, sort of instructions. So, let's have a property called value. And this is going to be the actual initial value or the actual value of our read-only property. In this case here, I'm going to type out value as Australia. Okay, so make a, uh, make a property called born on person with a value of Australia. Okay, next we'll put a comma. Inside here, we're going to put down writable. Okay, so writable as false. And that right there makes the property read only. Okay, so define a property called born on person and make it read only. So now if I save this and then refresh the browser, this time we get a new property born with a value of Australia. Perfect. So now let's test this out. Below here, I'm going to say person.born and try and change it. Equal to, let's say, United States. Okay. If I save this and refresh the browser, we get the same result. Born is still Australia, even though I changed it before the console log statement. So it's working. If I was to make writable now equal to true, the default value for that property, if I save this and refresh, this time we see it gets changed. So that's what the writable property does right there. Let's make that false once again. Now the reason why we get no errors, refresh here, we get no errors or warnings saying, you know, you can't define, you know, change the value of reader properly. We don't get any warnings or errors because we're not in the strict mode. So if I was to go back inside the code here, and if I change the JavaScript script to strict mode by saying use strict up here, if I type that out, we are now in strict mode, which means um, the actual warning or the error will appear when I try and change a read-only property. If I was to save this and refresh the browser this time, we actually get a uncaught type error, cannot assign read-only property born to that object. So errors only appear if you're using the strict mode. All right, and that is how you can define read-only properties in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.